the Inspectorate of Government decided to introduce a new dimension in the war against corruption. That is, to co-opt the masses who are the real victims of corruption into this war. Through the structures, the political structures, the religious structures, and the cultural structures, we are confident that we can reach all the people of Uganda. Corruption fights back, and it fights back strongly. Because sometimes the corrupt are more armed than the ones fighting them. I have seen colleagues in parliament telling you, no, don't put me on any accountability committee. Eh, eh, you touch these guys, you touch an accounting officer, they deny you services. You touch someone who has stolen 10 billion, he will use 500 million to finish you. Fighting corruption is not for the faint-hearted. In Uganda, whoever has money, people think you stole it. Either you stole it or someone donated it to you. You, you know, you come to government when you're already doing well, then when you pass somewhere with your good cap, people say, our money. Yeah, yeah no. Madam IG, I think these are issues we need to look into. Uh, that's why people, you know, over the weekend, you meet land cruisers on the roads. During weekdays, it's chikumis. Because people fear driving their cars, which some have earned honestly. I would therefore like to implore the interagency forum against corruption to include in this campaign the need to promote our national ethical values as a nation. Please proactively sensitize the people, especially the younger generation, to build a culture of integrity and good stewardship of resources through an understanding of these values.